Today, we're gonna make homemade salsa. Actually, Bobby's gonna make it. Yesterday, I had an epic fail. I accidentally dropped the minced garlic out of the refrigerator. It went shh, all over the place. So, I'm gonna help Bobby out and do some fresh garlic for him. I hope you know how much I love you, baby, because I hate chopping garlic. It's sticky, it's smelly. There you go, honey. Minced garlic. Sorry I broke the jar out of the workplace. Thank you for helping clean it up. While I'm at it, why not chop up some cilantro for him? Three finely diced large onions. Eight Roma tomatoes, and we're chopping all these vegetables very fine because we're making a chunky salsa. Five large jalapenos. We always leave the seeds in, but you can take them out if you'd like. Time to add the heat. We didn't have enough tomatoes, so we're gonna add a half of a large can of diced tomatoes with some of the sauce. Bobby used all eight cloves of garlic. He likes garlic. Now Bobby's adding some cilantro. Not all of it. And water, I want a whole lot, because I don't want it to be a runny salsa, just so you can start seeing it. We're gonna boil most of that out. Boy, all right, sea salt, I do everything to taste. I don't, I don't measure anything. So as it's cooking, I'll taste the juice and see if I like it. If it needs more salt, I'll add some, some black pepper. That's all that container, so some more black pepper. Some chili powder. I'm gonna put a little bit of cayenne because I got a lot of peppers in there between the five jalapenos and the four habaneros. And my favorite, green cumin. So I'm gonna start it off on high heat just until it starts to boil, and then I'll reduce it down to a simmer and let it just cook. All right, so now we got a pretty good boil going on. So I'm gonna reduce the heat down to like a simmer. Give it a good stir. Everything gets all good and mixed up. Keep that chunky salsa. You just have to get all your vegetables good and cooked. Now just let it simmer until everything's getting like transparent. All right, so I'm just boiling the water out, waste some of it. I'm gonna add a can of tomato sauce to it. It'd be too runny right now if I did it. But just kind of, I don't want to strain it. You lose the seasonings that way. So I'm just boiling water out. We're adding 16 ounces of tomato sauce. And there you have it. Chunky, hearty salsa. About ready to go in the jar. Two were already given away. And of course, we have more in the fridge for us. We're gonna taste it. It's chunky homemade salsa. Try our recipe and let me know what you think.